Lakewood middle school student is in the hospital tonight. A car hit her bike yesterday and this happened after school was let out on Granny White Pike. Our Marissa Sulik spoke with advocates about what needs to change in that area so people are safe. We see bike lanes all over cities, but it doesn't stop drivers from hitting bikers and that's what some advocates want to change. As investigators with the Brentwood Police Department take pictures, measure, and look over what happened yesterday. Which, when I saw that shot, I didn't even think this was a bike lane. Right. It looks like a shoulder. Meredith Montgomery and her team with Walk Bike Nashville are thinking about tomorrow. They devour maps of the crash site, not even a mile from Brentwood Middle School. Because I recognize this mailbox. An area where cars travel 40 miles an hour. As a mom, um, as a, of a middle schooler and not living too far from where it happened and thinking about this recently thinking about the summer high I wanted my son to be able to to bike around and to know that there's somebody probably close to his age in the hospital right now just because they were on their bike is heartbreaking. She says drivers hold the biggest responsibility on the road and the bike lanes on Granny White could use improvements. It's just paint. There's no buffer. So, you know, a step up from that would be a little bit of buffer between the bike lane and the car travel lane. A step up from that would be some sort of vertical delineator. A step up from that would be a concrete protection. While she says bikers should wear a helmet, bright clothes, and know the rules of the road, she knows drivers need to be more careful so this doesn't happen again. What matters more, people's lives or how fast we're going to get from point A to point B in our cars? Now, Brentwood Police says no charges have been filed against the driver yet, and this is still under investigation. In Nashville, Marissa Sulek, WSMV4.